Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Video Magical and today we're having a look at Final Cut Pro. And did you know that you can get Final Cut Pro to give you automatic video analysis options to correct that shaky video? I shot some video today of a kite surfer and I can tell you it was a bit shaky. Let's see what I can do to make it more watchable. See if Final Cut Pro can do anything to make it look better. So first of all, I've got this stuff imported and you can actually sort of do it as it's been imported or you can do it afterwards, doesn't really matter. And I've got a piece here which I'm going to do something with now. So let's choose this one here. Okay, so I've got this selected and what I've done is I've done a double tap on my magic trackpad or you can do a right click on it to get to it. And I've got this little uh, menu come up there and what I'm going to do is tell it to analyze and fix. And we're going to tell it to analyze for stabilization and rolling shutter. And it is a good idea if you're doing this to tell it to create smart collections after analysis so that you can find the bits that need working on afterwards. And let's click on OK. Now, now if you could do me a favour, I really would appreciate it. Click on the share button and share this video out to your friends. There are other places that you can send it out to as well, including Pinterest. And don't forget to click on the like button. Thanks a lot. Now, if we have a look at our background tasks here, we can see that things are starting to happen. And there's not much you can do now apart from waiting until it's done its job. And then we'll have a look and see what a Final Cut Pro says about this video. And I can tell you there's some pretty shaky bits in there. So it took more than five minutes to do that stabilization work. And now we can have a look and see what we've got out of this. In some places it's shaky because I was trying to find a good place to put my elbows so I could try and steady the camera as I didn't have my tripod ready and handy at the time. Click the downward arrow and look at all those excessive shake bits in there. So I can tap on that bit there and it's got that bit there which is excessive shake. And tap that bit there and another bit there. So it's found all the bits in there where there's excessive shake. And it is possible to do something about that. So let's see what we can do to rectify some of these problems if there's some small bits in there that we want to get. So what I've done is I've taken one of these excessive shake clips and I've dragged it and I've put it into the timeline. And as you can see, it is a little bit shaky in there, but maybe it's something that I really want. And maybe I'm prepared to do something with it to try and get it so that I can use it. So as you can see on this side over here, we've got this section where we can see what's going on. And we've got a section in here called Stabilization. Now when you first open this, you might not see it, so you have to click on the Show button. And we can tell it to stabilize. And we just press that button there. And you can set some of these settings here, like the Translation Smooth, Rotation Smooth, and Scale Smooth. I'll just leave it with those settings and see if it fixes it. Okay, well, it did some fixing there, but it kind of made it unusable as well. It kind of turned it so it's all a bit blurry. So it might be that you need to have something that's not quite as shaky as that one there for it to actually do the job. But I think you get the picture in a way that you can take some of your clips that are shaky and add a bit of stabilization to it in Final Cut Pro. Let's try that again. I've just uh, backed off some of the settings there. Okay, so now that is rendered, let's play that again. Still a bit on the blurry side, but maybe I could uh, grab a couple of frames out of that and use it. Now, these operations only act on whole clip selections and not range selections. So if you've got something that's in there and needs to be worked on, use the blade tool and split it up and get just the part that you want to do the stabilization on. Also, don't forget to look over in the event library over here because you've also got these smart collection with excessive shake. So all those bits in there, the ones with excessive shake in there. And we've got this one here with steady shot. Obviously, I've got more, a lot more shots in there that are steady. So as you can see, it's a very good thing to have in Final Cut Pro. So if you've got your tripod there, but you can't get it because someone's just grabbing some air while doing some kite surfing and you want to take that picture quickly, well, you can sort it out and post if absolutely necessary. Thanks for watching the video. And why don't you check out the other videos? Here's two of them. There's one video there and one video there that you can click on and go and have a look at now. And don't forget that you can also subscribe. Talk to you again soon. Bye-bye now.